Where the hell is my booze, Bethany? I need it now. Hi, Phil. Oh, I didn't get any. Yesterday's rain kept me from stopping at the grocery store on my way back from work. The rain? Seriously? You know I can't go there myself in this damn chair. I'm sorry, Phil. I plan on picking them up on my way home today. I didn't mean to inconvenience you. Plus, isn't it too early for you to be drinking? You have work to do. Working from home doesn't mean you should wake up in the morning to take alcohol. I need it! It doesn't matter whether it's early or late. Fine. I will get you some on my way home. You better do that or I'll divorce you, kick you out, and take our daughter with me. That's all you ever say. Do you even care about the sacrifices I make for our family? You keep treating me like crap. You know I've been working long hours to provide for us. It's been hectic. Hectic? That's not an excuse, Bethany. You're just lazy and annoying. I still work remotely despite being on a wheelchair. And you know the company paid me $600,000 last year for my injury, right? So I don't need whatever peanuts your company pays. I can do just fine on my own. Phil, please, let's not do this. Can't we talk when I'm back? I'm busy at work. Busy, busy, busy. I've got $400,000 company arrears coming in soon. I won't be needing you anymore as soon as I receive it. I'll just employ a maid. Phil, don't make this about money. We have our daughter, and whatever choices we make should benefit her. Daughter? I can take care of her just fine without you. She'd be better off without a mother who can't even pick up groceries. Phil, this isn't fair. You keep focusing on all my errors. What about everything I do for our family? I do all your laundry and run your funny errands. Funny errands? Are you actually mocking me? Just do it. Do it. Go ahead and call me disabled. Once you do, I will divorce you in a heartbeat. OMG. The things you say sometimes. We should support each other, not threaten divorce every time. Threatening divorce is the only language you understand. It doesn't have to be this way, Phil. We used to be happy. Happy? When you nag me to death and spend my money like water? You spent your money carelessly. You got yourself a big house we don't even need. Well, this big house, my house, is where you live. Deal with it. Phil, I wish we could work things out together as a family. Maybe if you were more competent, we could. Maybe I should call my uncle, who's your boss. I wonder if you're both incompetent at home and at work, too. Phil, let's not do this. I need to focus on my tasks. Don't make me lose my job. You only have that job because of me. You should fear losing me, Bethany. You'd be nothing without me. Phil, please... Let's talk later, when we're both calmer. I'm done talking, Bethany. I've already got those divorce papers waiting here, just in case. <laughs> Phil, don't do anything silly. You think I'm bluffing, don't you? You'll see. I'm sure someone must have pissed you off and you are taking it out on me as usual. Well, this big fool of the manager thinks I'm a slave because I work remotely, dropping emails for me as he likes, telling me what to do like I'm a five-year-old. If not for this wheelchair, I'd be his boss. I hate that Ryan with a passion. Now you're making matters worse with your incompetency? Don't even think of coming back late or you're out for good. 8 p.m. Bethany and there's no dinner yet. What's your excuse this time? I'm running late. There was a work emergency. I'll be home soon. Work emergency, huh? You always have an excuse. I'll make the dinner as fast as I can when I get home. Promises, promises. You've been promising for too long. You know what, maybe it's time we talked about that divorce, huh? Let's not go there again. I'm trying my best. Your best is not good enough, Bethany. Maybe I should kick you out and keep our daughter with me? I know you own the house, but don't bring our daughter into this. She's my daughter, too. I can take care of her without you. She needs both of us. You know that. Seems your job is now a distraction. One word for me, and you're fired. You really don't have to rub this in my face all the time. Why not? You're nothing without me. You're lucky I even keep you around. I'm doing my best to contribute to our family, Phil. It's not easy for me either. Easy or not, I demand my freshly cooked meals. That's the least you can do. There's some soup in the cabinet. You can heat it while you wait. What? I'm not some dog you can feed canned soup. I'm hungry and tired of waiting. Can you stop this already? I'll make sure dinner is ready when I get home from work. It's always about work with you. What about what I want? It shouldn't always be about what you want. Maybe it's time to start putting our daughter first. I want our daughter to have a good life. Good life? What a joke. I can give her the best life. My 400k is coming soon, remember? And that's enough to give her a best life? I really need to go now. Don't you dare.
Phil, where are the car keys? I need to go to a meeting at work. I'm not done. Keys? What keys? Maybe I swallowed them by accident. Phil, this is not the time for games. I need to leave for work. I've been looking all over for the keys. Who's playing games? There are better things to do than engaging games with you. I don't have time for this, Phil. Please, just tell me where they are. Since you're dying to know, I hid the keys. You need to learn a lesson, Bedney. You're always late and you make overcooked dinners. You did what? Besides, I've checked the whole house and I can't find you. Where are you? Well, while your lazy ass was sleeping, my friends came over and took me out. I'm tired of being holed up with an incompetent wife. Out with friends this early? Anyway, you know I have an important meeting this morning. I mentioned it last night, remember? I need the keys. I can't be late. Oh, now you're in a hurry. What about all those times you kept me waiting for dinner? Phil, this isn't fair. I apologize for that. I said I'd make it up to you, and I did. I have responsibilities at work, too. Responsibilities? You can't even handle your responsibilities at home. The divorce will really serve you right. Maybe it's time you realize what life would be like without me. Fine, Phil. If that's how you want to play it, then let's talk about divorce. <laughs> You're all talk, Bethany. You wouldn't survive without me. You think so? I've managed this long, haven't I? Don't make me laugh. I've already signed my part of the divorce papers. I can kick you out anytime I want. Phil, I've put up with a lot, but this is too much. Threatening divorce every time we have a disagreement won't work anymore. Oh, now you're suddenly fed up. You should have thought about that before. We could have worked through our issues, Phil, but you keep pushing me away. Maybe you're the one who pushed me away with your incompetence. Well, I hope you're ready for what comes next, Phil. I'm not backing down. We'll see, Bethany. We'll see who blinks first. You can't even drive to work without texting me, let alone survive on your own. We'll see about that, Phil. I'm taking the bus today. Have fun. I'm outside with our daughter. Why did you leave her out here? It's freezing here. She's out there because you didn't make breakfast before you left. You didn't see the bacon and eggs I left for you in the kitchen? Bacon and boiled eggs? Seriously? I told you I wanted fries. Fries aren't healthy for you. The doctor said you need to avoid such foods. I don't care about the doctor. I want fries. You can't even do that right. I can't believe you're locking us out over fries, Phil. This is our home. Open the door and let us in. It's our daughter we're talking about. Our home? It's my home. And I don't want you here anymore. What's gotten into you, Phil? Your daughter is out in the cold. Is that what makes you happy? Seeing your family suffer? Happy? I haven't been happy in a long time. It's time for a change. A divorce kind of change. Don't you think? You can't just change our lives like this, Phil. It's not fair to our daughter. She'll be fine without you. Maybe even better off. You're being unreasonable, Phil. We can talk this out. Open the door and let us in. Talking won't change anything, Bethany. I've made up my mind. You don't deserve one more second under my roof. Fine. If that's what you want, we'll leave. Good riddance. We'll stay at Carol's house tonight. Don't expect us back anytime soon. Carol? That good-for-nothing friend of yours? Well, have fun there. Phil? We need to talk. Now. Phil? What's there to talk about? I just left the house about 30 minutes ago, and you won't believe what I found. I'm sure it's something meaningless. Far from it. I walked in on you and Carol. You both were so busy doing what you had to do that you didn't even notice. Oh, that. Well, it's not what you think. <laughs> Carol was just helping me with something. Helping you? In the bedroom? We were just friends, Bethany. Friends don't do what I just saw, Phil. What were you even doing at home by that time? Don't you have work to do? I came home to pick up a file I forgot, only to find my disabled husband cheating on me with my best friend. I can't believe this, Phil. How could you? I actually trusted you so much. And now this betrayal? I never saw it coming. It's like a dagger in my heart. You're overreacting, Bethany. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. How dare you utter such disgusting words. It's not cheating if your wife is useless. You didn't come back home, remember? It didn't come back home? You locked your daughter and your wife outside. Now you've been sleeping with my best friend? You've crossed a line, Phil. How long has this been going on? Why does it matter? It matters because you're the father of our daughter, Phil. 
Your actions will only end up hurting her. She'll be fine. Maybe Carol will be a better mother than you. And Carol genuinely cares about me, Benny, unlike you. Are you serious? After all my sacrifices, this is how you repay me? Benny, I'm not gonna argue with you about this. It's my life, and I'll do what I want. I can't believe you can be so heartless, Phil. This is it. I have finally had enough. I'm going to deal with you. Deal with me? How exactly? My 400k company arrears will be paid by next week. I won't need a hag like you around anymore. You'll see, Phil. I won't let you get away with this. Benny, just accept it. You lost. Maybe I'll call my uncle and you'll lose that job that's making you so proud. Fine, Phil. You've made your choice. You crazy girl. What have, what have you done? I just lost my job. Lost your job? Or got caught, Phil? I didn't get caught. Someone ratted me out. I know it's you. You lost your job because you got caught, Phil. They found out about your fraudulent activities. I know you have something to do with this. What did you do? Spill. I'm an auditor, remember? Just one look at the records you keep on your desk and I could see all your dirty secrets. I told you never to go near my work desk. But I did. And you've been stealing from your company for years. Long before you even had your injury. I only shared my findings with your boss, Ryan. I'm just doing the right thing, dear. He is not my boss. Supervisor, manager, handler, whatever. Ryan has been suspecting you were stealing from the company for quite a while. But he didn't want to push the case too much. After all, you're a hero at the company. The brave worker who got injured at work and lost his legs. You went to Ryan? You disgust me. Yeah, I did. And Ryan went to the company board. Guess they're surprised when they found out that the company hero had been stealing from the pension fund. 400k in six years? No wonder your company is owing you 400k in arrears because you've been causing them losses with your stealing. How could you betray me like that? I'm your husband. Betrayal? You've been cheating on me with Carol, Phil. What about that? That's different. You cost me not just my job. Now they won't pay me my $400,000 arrears. What the hell have you done? They shouldn't have to pay you in the first place. You're the reason why they owe you that much in the first place. They're even threatening a lawsuit for the remaining 100k. You ruined everything. No, you did that. You ruined our marriage with your attitude and your affair. You ruined your job with your stealing. Now, you're paying the price. I'll appeal the decision. They'll change their minds. They can't fire me like that. The company's the reason I'm stuck on this wheelchair. Phil, we all know your injury was caused by your carelessness and stubbornness. You disobeyed clear safety guidelines. The company knew it was your fault, yet they paid you 600k compensation. And you still kept stealing from them. You're heartless, Benny. What about our daughter? How'll she survive? She doesn't deserve a broken home. Nor does she deserve a crazy, heartless father. I've stayed too long in this marriage all because of her. But now, I finally decided to face my fears. My daughter and I will be happier without you and that's all that matters. You think you've won? Carol will help me. She's got money. I don't need a scheming, betraying partner like you. Same here. Benny, it's over with Carol. That, that cheap thing dumped me. Oh really? That's too bad. LOL. She broke up after she found out I won't be getting the $400,000. What a gold digger. I see. And what does that have to do with me? Look, I I've been doing some thinking. I'm willing to forgive you for leaving. You can return home now. Forgive me? That's rich. I've moved on. Betty, I know life has been hard for you. You're suffering. Probably starving because you aren't under my roof. Also, I'm, I'm done with Carol. She's out of the picture. You can come back home now, y you and our daughter. It's not just about Carol. I am not coming back. And actually, Phil, you are about to become my ex-husband. What are you talking about? Stop messing with me. I'm not messing with you, Phil. Remember those divorce papers you signed weeks ago to threaten me? I filed them the next day. You what? You're, you're bluffing. You wouldn't do that. I did, Phil. I found them, signed my part, and filed them with the court. What? You can't be serious. I'm very serious, Phil. We will soon be legally divorced. This can't be happening. I need you. You're still my wife. Come back home this instant. 
You know you can't survive without me. Where will you go? You have no place to stay. I've been staying in a motel with our daughter. And as for where I'm going, I've been planning this for months. I'm getting a nice comfy apartment soon. You will regret this, Benny. I'll make you pay. You can't do anything. I've had enough of your sorry attitude. You've been mean to me all through our marriage, even before your injury. You've had your chances. It's over. You know what? I'll call your boss, my uncle, and get you fired. Let's see how you'll survive without a job. LOL. I already resigned. I got another job that pays thrice what I was getting at your uncle's company. What? Oh my god. You really are a smart woman. Okay, truth is, I'm panicking right now. You, 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 you can't leave me, Benny. I'm so sorry for looking down on you all these years. It's too late for these foolish talks. Please, Benny, I'm serious. Come back home right now. I need you. I'm stuck on this wheelchair for life. Who would take care of me? Who, who would clean me up? Get a maid like you said weeks ago. I, I, I don't need a maid. I need someone who genuinely loves and, and cares about me. I need you. Too bad you realize that too late. I'm giving you what you've always demanded for. A divorce. Goodbye. Benny, please. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I love you. The divorce was finalized and my daughter and I moved into a beautiful and spacious apartment. As for Phil, he lost it all. His job, our marriage, our daughter, and even Carol, who I thought was my friend. He's alone now, facing the consequences of his actions. I heard the company is even making moves to get his house confiscated. Too bad.